There are nine worlds in Norse mythology. These worlds are held in the branches and roots of the world tree, Yggdrasil. Today we take a closer look at these worlds and the gods and beings that inhabit them. Asgard is the fortress home of the gods, ruled by Odin, the leader of the Aesir tribe. Both Valhalla and Falkvanir are located in Asgard, where the honoured dead go if they are chosen, making Asgard the closest thing to a heaven in Norse mythology. Asgard is divided into many realms, including Valhalla, the home of Odin, Thradheim, the realm of Thor, and Breidablik, the home of Baldir. Each god of importance had their own palace within Asgard. Asgard is connected to Midgard through the Rainbow Bridge, otherwise known as the Bifrost, and is the only way in and out. There is not much known about Vanaheim, as it is not mentioned to the extent that Asgard is. Vanaheim was sired by Njord, the god of the sea, and his wife Skadi. The home of the Vanir tribe, who many consider to be the clan of lesser gods. The Vanir tribe consists of gods who are often associated with fertility and nature. The realm is full of vast forests, fields and plains. It also contains ruins of huge castles and mountain-sized citadels, known as the abandoned city of Vanir. The war between Vanaheim and Asgard raged for many years, until Freya married Odin, merging their people together and achieving peace. Alfheim is the homeworld of the Light Elves. They are said to be as beautiful and luminous as the sun, so we can imagine that their homeworld is one of light and beauty. The Elves do not take part in any of the described events in Norse myths, and not much is known about their homeworld other than it is the palace of the god Freya. Midgard, the land of humans. As its namesake suggests, it is the middle land of the nine worlds. Below Asgard, the realm of gods and goddesses, and above the underworld. Midgard shares its borders with Jotunheim, the land of giants. There is a fortress wall made from the eyebrows of Ymir that covers the entire realm to protect from attacks from the giants. The serpent Jormungand encircles Midgard and the wilderness at its borders. As well as the serpent, there were giants who dwell in the sea, waiting for those who were unlucky enough to cross their path. Svartalheim, often shown as the home of the Dark Elves and the Dwarves, although in some texts the Dwarves have their own realm called Nidavellir. The Dwarves are master smiths and craftsmen who live beneath ground, it is thought that Svartalheim and Nidavellir contain a network of complex subterranean mines and forges. The dwarves were known for their work on precious metals, and they would often build exquisite halls for themselves. There are many who believe that because Nidavellir is not part of the Nine Worlds, that Nidavellir and Svartalheim are in fact the same place. This would make the dwarves and the Dark Elves the same creature. Jotunheim the home world of the giants and neighbouring world to Midgard, often seen as the vast and mighty wilderness that surrounds the more civilised world of Midgard. The dwelling place of the giants, Jotunheim is often described as having deep dark forests and mountain peaks where the winter never eases its grip. It is a grim and inhospitable landscape where the most fierce giants in Norse mythology came from. Muspelheim one of the two primordial worlds, involved in both creation and the Ragnarok. It is the land of fire and heat, and is seen to be the opposite to Nilfenheim. The fire giant Surt defends this land, and is believed to be impassable to any foreigner. The demons of this land would eventually march on Asgard, led by Surt himself. Nilfheim, the other half of the primordial worlds, playing its equal part in creation, and the opposite to Muspelheim. It is a cold and dark place, covered in mist with icy caverns scattered across the land. Many consider Nilfheim and Helheim to be a similar place, as evil men would have to pass through Nilfheim before they reached Hel. Helheim, often referred to as Nilfenheim or Hel, it is the land of the dead. Those who were not honourable in their death, or banished by Odin, were sent to Helheim. 
It is ruled by Loki's daughter, Hel, which one would assume is where the name originated from. It is a lifeless land, and its gates are guarded by the wolf Garm. There is no definitive answer, but there is overlap between the realms of Helheim and Niflheim. There is much to discuss when mentioned in the Nine Worlds of Norse mythology. This was a quick overview, but I look forward to more detailed explanations in future videos. If you've enjoyed this video, then please go ahead and leave it a like. Consider subscribing if folklore and mythology is something that interests you. If you have anything you'd like to discuss or have any ideas for future videos, then please go ahead and let me know in the comments below. As always, I've been your host, Mythology and Folklore Explained.